And as we mentioned earlier, this week marks the one year anniversary of the first COVID positive case in Indiana. Jeff Newmeyer is live outside DuPont Hospital tonight, offering some perspective on what we've endured and how we've changed in the face of such a major health threat, Jeff. Yeah, Brian, Chris, does it feel like a year or 10 years? <laughs> We've worried about our health, uh, about the risk of getting sick and dying, about job security, and also uh, maintaining contact with loved ones. That's been a difficult task as well. We've learned about our resiliency in the face of a sometimes overwhelming challenge in mid-March of 2020. We had no real effective way to know if a person did or did not have the disease now in Indiana. There are 300 COVID testing sites, and we now have more than a million Hoosiers who've received at least their first dose of vaccine. But it's been a journey marked by suffering and pain also. Aside from the deaths and awful illnesses, the economy was shut down, small businesses closed, and people were put out of work. Thankfully, 20% unemployment, which happened last April, is now way down to around 4% as companies are ramping up hiring. Fort Wayne psychologist Dr. Stephen Ross says the pandemic battered our collective sense of well-being, causing cases of alcohol addiction to soar. He offers this view of what many people experienced during the early weeks and months of the health crisis. People were anxious, very anxious, because uh, they didn't think they were getting a, you know good information from uh, purported reliable resources, so they were out there left to their own devices wondering what's going to happen to me. But it was, the, it was the depression, it was the isolation that really took a toll on them. It was my senior year, so like no prom, no graduation, so it kind of like affected me a lot. So it's been different. Are you really ready for it all to be back? Yes. <laughs> I don't like the mask. I don't like any of it. <laughs> I think it's been a big change in our life that we don't interact with many people anymore. That's my big thought. And that's a downer in your mind? Yes, absolutely. Now, John Sampson, the head of the Northeast Indiana Regional Partnership, says there are more openings listed in his agency's jobs portal now than ever before. He says companies have figured out how to more efficiently manufacture products and deliver goods uh, to customers through the pandemic things that will serve the economy for years to come. But he says there is still a missing piece, and that, according to him, is restoring personal interaction between businesses and their customers. And that challenge, of course, is real in all aspects of our lives. Guys, back to you. Yeah, what a year it's been. Jeff, thank you.